hello everyone i hope you are doing well so recently i did a video on how you can get more fps on a low end pc for warzone 3 and you guys loved that video but today we are extending that video like what we haven't discussed in my last video we are going to discuss it over right here right now today we are going to discuss about everything that can make your low end pc run this game more smoothly as you are running right now so without Without further ado let's start the video so before you open the game there are some settings that we need to configure in your windows this video is going to be an optimization on a windows pc if you are using some kind of linux or some other like steam deck sorry for that maybe in the future i will make video on that but for now we are going to use my gaming pc which is running on windows 11 pro 64 bit and it is updated to the latest update that is available for my pc before we open the game we need to go to the settings in the window you can click on the start menu you can search for the settings if you're using windows 11 the process will be similar but the options availability places can be a different so first go to the settings it opened on my second screen so then go you can directly search from here in gaming if you're using windows 11 you can go to the game settings our game mode over here or directly in the settings there is a gaming section over here you can click over the gaming section there will be a game bar uh, you can turn it off if you are using a low end pc so i use controller sometime i do use this game bar but uh, the main thing that we are going to use over here in the graphics tab it might appear in the related also it appears in the game mode you can go from the gaming game mode and you can enable this game mode in this game this game mode does help a little bit so you can enable it and you can also go to the graphics from here related app and it will appear it will be like system display and graphics here different games that are installed in your system will appear over here we need to go to search my call of duty and why there are two call of duty hqs are available over here because i have installed my game on steam and on battlenet as well so that's why it's showing two times if you are you have downloaded your game on battlenet or on steam only then it will appear only one call of duty hq if it's not available over here you can go to browse and you can add any file from here it will be available so you can click over here and go to the options and you can select it is on high performance by default it will be pre-selected on high performance issue if you are using a desktop pc if you are using a laptop it might be in a power saving or it might be set to balance mode so if you are want to get more fps just click on the high performance mode and as you can see this this shortcut is from the steam version of the game and this is from the battlenet version of the game don't worry the process will be same why i have installed the two version there is a very simple reason behind this there we had a texture issue on the steam and we don't have a texture issue on a battlenet so i do play on the battlenet as well and i do play on the steam as well you just want to play warzone and download it on the battlenet it will be more life-saving if you are not using any kind of ssd all right you are pretty much done over here so next thing is we need to optimize your cpu usage and already i have made a video on this particular topic if you haven't watched that yet please go and watch that because that is going to be much handy for cpu optimizations so i suppose you have already watched that and you have done that steps correctly the link for that video will be in the description down below and it will appear over some in in the cards as well and the next thing that we need to do is related to call of duty configuration file don't worry i will not tell you something that can break your system or that can break your game don't worry about that every steps are safe and you can apply personally i already had applied these and i'm getting really really good results so next step is you need to go to the file explorer you can go from the this pc or my pc if you are using windows 10 so you can go from here if in case this icon is not available over here go to the start menu and 
search for explorer and it will be file explorer just click over here and then this window will open it might be a different window for you it might be the desktop downloads or documents don't worry about that we we need to go to the document folder from our left side go to the documents and then search for a call of duty click on any folder and press c on your keyboard and it will navigate to the call of duty folder open call of duty folder then players folder and then search for option dot three dot code 23 dot cst don't worry if dot cst is not available if dot cst is not visible it might be the case if not visible go to view and go to the show option then show file name extension so it might be the case it might be uh, look like this for you don't worry about that these are the same file it, it will be available in the players folder you need to right click on this file and you can open with any notepad editor it might be the notepad plus it might be the simple notepad notepad in my case so now you can maximize it and here will be a bunch of different settings please do remember to not add any other settings except two settings i will recommend because this might break your in-game settings so what we need to change it will be available over here in the top lines that is called thread count for handling the job queue or that will be labeled as render worker count it will be in the parentheses for myself it was previously mentioned as four now what do you have to put over here it depends on your model of cpu for example i'm using ryzen 5 5600 so you can search your mod cpu model on the google and you can go to the manufacturer website i'm using an amd cpu ryzen 5 5600 let's go to the amd website and here are the specification we are going to check out two things number of cpu cores it has six cpu cores and number of cpu thread remember my cpu ryzen 5 5600 has six cores and 12 threads it might be the case if you are using intel for example i5 12 400f if for example if you are using an intel you can search over here and you can go to the intel's website and you need to check two things number of cores and number of threads so we have a total number of cores six and remember in modern cpus in case 12 gen and up it might be the case you have some performance scores and some efficient scores don't worry about that don't get confused because we had to work with only number of threads so this uh, i5 12 400f is also have a 12 threads and my cpu has also have a 12 threads so now what we have to do in the render worker count we need to put the number of threads what your cpu have for example my cpu ryzen 5 5600 has 12 threads so i am going to put 12 over here not 122 that mistake so 12 over here and you can see it also saying that maximum 16 can be added over here just add number of threads over here and hit save from here and exit the file and now what we need to do we need to open the game okay all right we are here in the game we are now in the lockdown remember the lockdown is is more cpu heavy as compared to the br match the reason that we have so many players congested in a very small space a very small map so it became very cpu heavy and remember i'm using the gtx 1660 super it is the low end card nowadays and it with a 6 gb vram i'm using a ryzen 5 5600 with it and i'm also recording on the same pc if you are using same setup you will get more fps the reason behind i'm also recording on the same pc so in every condition you will get more fps as compared to mine over here okay we are at the safe spot again so let's camp over here and let me show you graphics quality setting for the preset i do go for the custom so i can customize these settings for the render resolution it will be your monitor's native resolution in my case i have a 1080p monitor so i put i have put the render resolution to 100 percent dynamic resolution off and for the upscaling you want to get more like if you want to get more clarity to use the fidelity fx cost i am using it 100 percent but if you want to get more fps even more fps if your gpu already not getting much of fps so do go for the amd fsr 1 or you can use the fsr 3 but the edges will be might kind of jaggy if you want to avoid these jaggy edges just go for amd fsr 1 and you can go for the quality settings to be honest is kind of look okay 
uh, visually if you are already low on fps it might be the best choice for you and let's go for other settings in my case i have a 6 gigs of vram i have added the vram target scaling to 75 percent don't go for the 90 percent it will stutter a lot turn off the variable reshading and for the texture setting this is the most demanding setting for the vram if you have a 6 gig of vram gpu you can go for the normal or low but if you have less than 6 gigs every time just go for very low set also same for the texture and a stopic filtering if you have a 6 gig or higher vram gpu you can go for the Narber ultra and if you have a less than 6 gigabyte of vram just go for the low setting the depth of field is off and details quality level the same thing if you have a 6 gigabyte of vram for your gpu go for the normal or low if you have a less than 6 gigs every time go for the low settings and for the particle resolution for the average gpu for the low bullet impact it is personal preference we want to see the bullet holes like this you can enable the bullet impacts for the persistent effect you can turn it off shader quality set to low on demand texture streaming turn it off shadow quality low or you can go for the very low screen space shadows off ambient occlusion off screen space reflection is also off static reflection is off and these are the some following settings you can turn it off and in the graphic setting for the display mode i was using the full screen borderless but you can go for the full screen exclusive mode it will help you to reduce a little bit input latency as i'm using multi-monitor setup and i was recording so i do play at full screen borderless and also for the laptop users who are struggling with the fps or with the stuttering so i will highly recommend and they can tune down the resolution from 1080p to 900p believe me with 900p the games will look fine on a laptop or like on a 15 inch or 14 inch uh, small screen whenever you do change any setting in the game do not forget to restart your shaders more most importantly if you have changed the shader settings do not forget to restart the shaders so how you can restart the shader go to the settings go to the graphic setting go to the display tab and at the top section probably you can see the restart start shader loading just click over here and i click on the restart and close the game and open the game again once you open the game again it will restart the shader and it will optimize the shader with respect to new image quality or with respect to new graphic setting you just applied and it will help you a lot with avoiding stuttering and game lag so now how we are going and we are getting about the 10105 as an average even i am also recording game on the same gpu do let me know what improvements do you got with these settings and did it helped with your game stuttering or something or not if you like this video just hit a like button if you don't hit a dislike we will be meeting you in another video till that bye